as a federal court gets ready to officially pass a sentence after Johar Sarnaev was convicted of bombing at the uh, 2013 Boston Marathon finish line. He has been ordered, of course, to pay with his life. Almost three dozen people are speaking in court about the impact of his actions. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner has been in court most of the morning. He has an update now live from Boston. Patrick, good afternoon. Well, if closure happens in phases, then this is certainly one of them. The formal imposition of sentence upon convicted marathon bomber and convicted terrorist Jahar Sarnayev. We're going to go to video right now for you of the motorcade carrying him to the United States courthouse this morning. It has been over a month since jurors now discharged from this case pronounced that the only just and appropriate punishment for a young man who murdered and dismembered with a pressure cooker bomb is death. It took them a day and a half to reach that conclusion. Anti-death penalty activists stacked up an unprecedented number today, despite the fact that punishment has been determined in a direction they had very much rallied against. This Wednesday is all about what survivors and family of victims have to say before Judge George O'Toole follows the jury's directive and formally applies sentence. The government says at least 20, but now we're told closer to 30 wish to have the opportunity. They are seizing it as we speak. The other thing we're watching today is whether the 21 year old Sonayev addresses the court. He has a right to do so. Will he? Will he decline? Will he be defiant? Will he show contrition? We don't yet know. Now, again, this is just another emotional and sad day in Boston Federal Court. The things have, that have been said in courtroom nine, just absolutely impactful. I'm going to read a couple of them to you now. This from Bill and Denise Richard a mother and father respectively of Martin Richard, the youngest victim. He chose hate, he chose destruction, he chose death. This is all on him. Speaking of Sarnayev, we choose love, we choose kindness, we choose peace. This is what makes us different from him. And from Jennifer Rogers, the sister of, of Sean Collier, he is a coward and a liar. Again, speaking of Sarnayev, he showed no remorse. She said he hid behind a dead man. She said he walked in with a swagger. Direct quote here, he is a leech and he spit on the American dream. We're going to cover all of this. And again, the lingering question today as the testimony continues, will Jahar Sarnayev himself address the court? Stay tuned for that. We'll see you later tonight. Live in Boston with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Jared Pleiter, Eyewitness News. And as Jared said, our coverage continues later today in the formal sentencing tonight on Eyewitness News starting live at 5. You can also find extended information right now on WPRI.com, including more details on what victims and family members said in court.